to who man what's good with y'all boys man you already know who it is man joe here back with another speed stars video for you guys man so look here we go i'm saying man too many times now look right today man i got a special video for y'all man this is a video that's been requested a lot and happens to be my most basically my most viewed type of video which was how to run 30 miles per hour in speed stars yeah, it's at 4.4k right now if you haven't seen that man go check that out man it's probably i ain't gonna lie it might be some good tips in there i i be getting like 40 views an hour on that video to this day but look right enough of that so look today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to run 30 miles per hour in speed stars now i'm not gonna lie if i don't exactly run it don't be don't be lighting me up in the comments man please don't because like I'm rolled right now. I'm not going to lie. Like I, I am for real. Like it's 12 right now. It's, it's just a bad day. It's a bad day. But yeah, man, it's the build I'm running, man. This is, if y'all haven't noticed, this is not my original build. This is the GOAT build that I've kind of put, put to the side a little bit. Because if y'all don't know different builds, whether they have the same stats or not, their body type is different. Like that 5'9" compared to this 510 you can see the difference in how they're built so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all boys how y'all can run 30 miles per hour in speed stars man i'm not the goat at it but I, I i do it pretty often often enough to be able to make a video on it so when it comes to running 30 miles per hour in speed stars man the first thing you want to do like i always say get out the blocks you want to time when i tell you timing from that set to that go that timing is that timing got to be something serious for you to be making good times. You not starting late. You not bare. You not starting behind and still running a nine three. You're just not. You're you're not doing. If it, nine times out of ten, if you're watching this video, you're not doing that. You're just not. So when getting out the blocks, man, you want to get out low. You want to explode. You want to be head down driving. And when you keep your tap rhythm the same, you see how my head came up? Don't be trying to adjust your tap so that way your head comes up. Don't be trying to do all that. Head down. Keep that rhythm the same. His head will slowly come up. So when you're running this, you want it. So, so first, we're just going to talk about the start to the split. If you don't know what the split is. It's that little screen that pops up that lets you know how fast you like your time that you just ran. That screen right there. A seven is crazy. But that screen right there, that's that that's that's your split between the race. So to be running a good time, you your split should be between a six three, maybe even a six four. If you if you end up running 30 miles per hour from that split throughout the end of the race. Then you then you may get by with a six four, but it needs to be a six three to a six one. In between there is the is 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 that range that you know if you keep doing what you're doing, you're running a six two or a six three, maybe even a six four if you start screwing up. So with that being said, on your way to that spot, how everything should look, you should be down. You shouldn't start coming up until you're like right there by the split. And your speed, you should be running 28 miles per hour, at least by the time you hit that split. If you're running 28 by the time you hit that split and you keep that same rhythm, you will hit 30. And you will finish out the race running about 30 miles per hour. So with that being said, we'll get into tapping. See how my head came up right before I crossed? A 6'6 six, six is terrible. So... With that being said, now that we got that part done, in between the split, we're still in between the split. We ain't got to the end of the race yet. So between the split, how you should tap. So honestly, you can run 30 miles per hour tapping fast, tapping slow, tapping soft, tapping hard. It does not matter. The only thing that matters is rhythm. That's all this game is. It's a big rhythm. So if you tap soft, you can't come out like this. You just can't. Like, I'm tapping so soft right now, it's not even funny. So if you tap soft, you need to hold the screen in order for his head to go down. So if I tap soft, I'm tapping soft. You probably can't even hear, 
but I'm holding the screen long on each side so his head is staying down. Of course, you don't want to run it like that, but yeah. So you tap the hard, you tap, you hold down on the screen if you tap it soft for his head to go down. And you keep that same rhythm, his head will naturally start to come up. That was, he came up slow that time, but yeah. If you get out right and you keep your tap rhythm the same, I promise you, your, his head will come up. And you'll just start floating down the track. Now, you'll know your rhythm's off when you either start doing this. Hold on, when you start doing this right here, you know your rhythm's off. Or when, or let's say I'm racing online and I get out fast. Next thing I know, they take off ahead of me right at the beginning of the race, you got rolled. That, that's just, it is, it, it is what it is. That means you completely shit it on your rhythm and yeah so now we got getting off the blocks and how you should be running on your way to the um on the way to the split now the second half of the race the second half of the race you literally just keep doing what you did at the beginning your rhythm does not change at all throughout the race but well, that was pretty decent oh my head never came up there you go see i ran a six four and my time was a 9.5 on the dot. So yeah, 6.4, you're running about a 9.4-ish. So the second half of the race, by that time, your head should already be up. Your head should be up right, like right when that, like right when that split screen pop up, your head should already be up. And you should be in the 20 mile per hour range like I just was. And then after that, you just maintain. You just maintain that same rhythm. Now, I'm not gonna lie. There is times where you may have to make adjustments mid-race, that happens a lot. Like you see how my head went, went forward a little bit? Sometimes you'll have to, so when your head starts falling forward in the race, like let's say, let me just pick my head up. So let's say I'm running like this and I start leaning forward a little bit, just tap softer. Either tap softer or wait longer in between taps and his head will fall back. Cause just notice when I don't tap, my head falls back. When I tap too hard, it falls forward. So if your head starts falling forward, just wait longer in between taps so that way you're not necessarily losing your speed. Or you can just tap softer. I recommend tapping softer because when you wait longer in between taps, it'll mess up, it, it'll slow you down. Like see, if I wait longer between taps, my speed go down. But if I just tap lighter, but keep the same rhythm, nothing changes. If I want to bring my head back, just tap lighter. His head comes straight up. But I'm not ruining my rhythm either. I ran a... What? I just did that on accident. But yeah. So, I'll get into a few races and let you guys see how it should look. Head down. Same tap rhythm. Head comes up. Maintain. I'm running. I told you I'm rolled right now. I, I, I can't get off the blocks right right now. I just can't. See, that was horrible. Head came up. Maintain. It's that simple. I mean, it's really not that simple. I understand because I was once there too. Yo, it'll be a miracle if I can get out the blocks right. Because what in the world? 6'6". Six, six. Oh, 6'4", six, what? But yeah, man, just actually, I do want to tell y'all something real quick, though, that helped me out a lot. That might actually help y'all. Two things. Let me get through this race real quick. Oh, my God, I can't run 28. Now, look, the first thing I'm going to tell y'all is if you've been doing what I've been doing. So let's say you have the full game purchase, which I'm sure most of y'all do. If not, it's a dollar. What are you doing with your life? No offense. But look, so my custom seven build, this is the build that I run with all the time. Since his run style is different, I can't I became accustomed to it. But when you like when you start feel if you've been using your custom build long enough and you feel like something isn't working, try to find a build similar to that. Like I did. So this build right here, boom. Few inches shorter, max power build. He's built different. Literally. Their run styles are different. Sometimes when you switch up your run styles, you see that that fits you best. 
runs. Like sometimes the run style that you've been working with all this time really ain't it. That's what I found out for me. And this build is I've been able to like when I'm locked in, I'm able to consistently run nine fours and nine threes like it's nothing because I understand this build's run style and it matches my tapping rhythm. So that's one. Two, when you're getting out the blocks, pay attention to your feet, literally like watch your feet. So instead of paying attention to trying to get his head to come up, because I'm sure a lot of y'all like watch his like upper body and will kind of pay attention to his legs out of your peripheral. Don't do that. When you're getting out the blocks, pay attention to his feet and try to time each step. When I tell you it's so free, you will never mess up. You will never get rolled at the start if you watch your feet. And then after that, when your feet, when you get right, after that, it's just a rhythm you got. Like, I just held 29. Just pay attention to your feet. And each time you see his knee come up, tap. Every time his knee comes up, tap. I ain't run 30, but I did hold 29. Yeah, every time you see his knee come up, tap. Watch, I'll show you. I got out the blocks way better that time, just watching my feet. Oh my God, my head came forward. I sold that. But yeah, man, that's really it, man. It really ain't too much to it. You Really, the main thing you need to be successful in Speed Stars is time, man. Just put in the time. You will, you will figure so much stuff out on your own that works best for you and things of that nature. Just, you just got to put the time in on the game, bro. Like I see a lot of y'all in my comments, y'all be asking me a bunch of questions. And then a week, not even a week later, y'all be like, oh, I beat my PR. Oh, my God, I got a new PR. And y'all PR jumps be huge. Why? Because y'all be putting in the time, man. Just keep putting in the time and you will see results, man. That's going to go, bro. That's going to go and do it for this video, bro. <laughs> like always, bro. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel, bro. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. And I'm going to bring that video to y'all for sure. This video was requested by a supporter, man. Shouts out to him. I don't know his name right here, but I'm going to pop it up on the screen. Appreciate you for the video I did, man. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but I've been stalling. I've been stalling. And shouts out to my boy AW3, man. He doing big things over there, man. I'm trying to get like him. I'm trying to get like him on his um on his channel, bro. That's gonna go ahead and do it, man. Joel signing out, bro. Peace.